All right, guys. So um, we got one last good push today. I ran out of electrical yesterday, so um, I went to the other house. I had a few rows of Romex left. Um, hopefully enough to get me through this last push because the price of Romex right now is absolutely ridiculous. This row of 200 feet 14.2 is usually 38 to 42 dollars before covid then it went up to 70 90 and now it's at 115 so if you could feel my pain um when it started creeping up i went and bought enough wire to finish this house but i'm obviously a real short so um i'll tell you guys what i did so i put about i'll start from Two years ago, I mean, this it seems like a long way coming. It actually has been um, losing a lot of money. At least twelve hundred a unit, three units vacant, so thirty six hundred a month. I'm losing out, but I try not to look at it that way. So, um, from back here, we demoed this kitchen a hundred percent down. You can see right down in the basement, and then the upper kitchen a hundred percent. We had two load-bearing walls we put in the kitchen upstairs. Um, all brand new electrical and insulation, flooring, the whole nine. Um, ran new ductwork. So I ran at least four 20-amp um, circuits up there. At least four down here. Um, a 15-amp for the lights and smoke detectors upstairs. Uh, 15 amp for the lights and smoke detectors here so that's for the two kitchens so brand new cabinets brand new cabinets upstairs um so then we went into the basement here completely gutted the floor sister the floor joists the floor joists were notched to pieces from the previous plumber so we got a brand new floor joists a uh, brand new subfloor New framing, knocked down the wall, brand new plumbing, brand new drains, the whole main stack that changes out, um, new electrical. So we put a 20 amp breaker here, a 15 amp breaker. And then we got, as you can see right there, that is um, a three way for the smoke. Smoke's right there. So for the whole lower unit, I ran a 14.3, um, so from the basement to the hallway, to every bedroom, living room. So if one smoke alarm goes off, they all go off. So we got that. Oh, R30 in the floor joists. Um, knocked down a chimney right here. You can see where the floor. It was a pretty. It was a. It was a big chimney. I think. Um, I don't know how many pounds, but um. I would say around 2,000 pounds in brick. Had to be more. Had to be more. I know I did like uh, 60 trips. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So from the roof, the attic, second floor, first floor, all the way down in the basement, knocked down that chimney. There was a wall right here. You can see right there to right here. And then the chimney is right there. So I messed up the floor pan, knocked it down. Um, brand new electrical. <clears throat> So right here, <clears throat> there used to I made this a two bedroom for my aunt, and I'm converting it back to a three bedroom because you get more rent money for more bedrooms. <clears throat> Me, I rather have bigger bedrooms, but if you got kids, parents gotta make your sacrifices. You know you can't have a giant room. <clears throat> so I put it back to three bedrooms. Um, all brand new electrical insulation, drywall, blah, blah, blah. I ran all new ductwork in the majority of the house, the kitchen, the bathroom here. Um, this bedroom never had a ductwork, only a huge air return. So I got around a, a supply line there. This uh, air return, I hate them in the floor. So I'm relocating that one. That supply is going to relocate it in the wall. Um, that supply line right there is too close to the floor so I'm raising it up so it doesn't bother the baseboard this uh, supply line here was just put in there it was never hooked up it was just there for looks so I got to run a supply in here 
Um, yesterday, I knocked down this wall and moved it in 18 inches because I'm going to make a, a mud room, a.k.a. bench slash storage for that hallway there. Um, so, yeah, so <clears throat> today's last push is on electrical. So I got to finish this room's electrical. And then, <clears throat> so the price of 12.2 went up so high that now I'm taking new approaches on my rentals. Um, usually I'll just throw a few, um, coils of, <clears throat> of Romex, which is what I did for the upper unit. So my upper unit, the living room and dining room and bathroom is not renovated. I'm doing that last once I'm done with all the, my rentals. So for my bathroom, I ran, I think two 20 amps, one 15 amp for the living room and dining room. I ran, I think three 15 amps. And then for the bedroom up here, I ran a 15 amp, um, I ran uh, the brand new PEX already for the bathroom upstairs. So once I knock the walls down, everything's there. I just got to go to town. No having the fishing or knock walls downstairs to do what I got to do. Um, but <clears throat> I'll show you guys. So um, the price of 12 2 and 14 2 is so ridiculous that I had to start thinking outside the box. And I should have been doing this from the beginning. So... Um, What I did was I bought service wire that, um, so this is 90 feet of 2224 wire. It's rated up for a 100 amp sub panel. So I'm getting ready to fish this from my attic down to the basement. That way it's there. I don't have to knock any walls down later. It's just going to be right there in the future. And um, that way I can run my Romix right in the attic instead of having to go all the way down in the basement, fish it, using up hundreds of feet of Romix for no reason. So I'm going to start doing this in all my renovations um, because the other attic I'm going to remodel. So once I'm done with all the houses, my house, the attic, I'm making a master bedroom with a bath. So shower, toilet, um, and I'm going to need a, a whole bunch of juice. I don't know if I'm going to put a sign up there too. Um, so I'm just doing this now, thinking ahead. And uh, yeah, so after today, we'll insulate the rest of the ceilings and start throwing up the drywall and going to town. So um should be done with this lower unit pretty quick. So. Alrighty, guys.